Star, written by Eamon Murphy. Two, Joe Darmy, Patrick Farrell. Three, Run for Free, Peter Scudamore. Four, Calabrese, Richard Dunwoody. King's Curate, you'll note, is a long runner. Six is Real Class, written by Neil Doughty. Seven, Shelton Abbey, written by Chris Grant. Eight, Viridian, Martin Lynch, and here's how they bet. Run for free, nine to four. Jadami, 11 to two from fives. Calabrese is seven to one still, that hasn't changed. Real Class, 16s. And a real class now, 20 to 1, Viridian 40 to 1 from 33s, and Shelton Abbey 50 to 1. And they're away. Run for free on the inside, but Calabrese just uh, taking the advantage of him as they come to the first. Calabrese and run for free. And comes Viridian as they race to the first of the ditches now. Run for free on the far side. Calabrese towards the left as we see them. Oh, Calabrese's gone. Calabrese's gone at the first. Second, I should say, and run for free. is left uh, clear of real class. Both horse and jockey up all right. Viridian comes next. Badbury Stars over on the far side. Then Jodami and Shelton Abbey. The third, run for free. Oh, he just had to put in a short one there. He got very close to it. As they pass the winning post for the full circuit. It's run for free from Viridian and Jadami. Real class on the inside. Badbury Star with Eamon Murphy patiently waiting in rear with Shelton Abbey upsides him as they go out into the country. Run for free, the leader. From Viridian and real class, Jadami, Shelton Abbey, and finally, the favorite, Badbury Star. I mean, to the fourth. Run for free from Viridian and Jodami. Jodami just pecked a little on landing there. Real class comes next, and then Shelton Abbey, Bad Bristar, number five. Run for free and Viridian from Jodami. Real class. Shelton Abbey wasn't put foot perfect at that one. Coming to another ditch now. Run for free. Viridian and Jodami, and uh, Shelton Abbey has gone there. Shelton Abbey, a crashing fall at that one. Run for free, the leader at the seventh. From Viridian and Jodami, real class, and then Bradbury Star, the back marker of the quintet remaining, who are led by Run for Free from Jodami and Viridian, then real class, and Bradbury Star. Eamon Murphy being very cool on Brad Bristar, hasn't made a move yet, they come to the eighth. And Jodami jumped the fastest there and jumped into the lead. But back into it, Chris Grant's up all right. Back into it goes run for free and Peter Scudamore. The leader from Viridian and Jodami, real class, and then Brad Bristar. The ninth of the 19 run for free. He's not jumping brilliantly. With upsides him, Viridian, then Jodami, Real Class, and Brad Bristar, the third of the five ditches. And the leaders jump it more or less abreast. Run for free, Viridian and Jodami. Then Real Class and Brad Bristar. Number 11. Run for free from Jodami Viridian and Bradbury Star and Real Class now, the back marker of the quintet. Run for free, the leader from Jodami and Viridian, then Bradbury Star and Real Class. Eamon Murphy, content at the moment, sit in behind. Makes a little bit of ground on the inside, though, as they go over the far side for the last time. With Run for Free, the leader from Jodami, Bradbury Star now third, four Viridian and five, real class. Number 12. 
Run for free, Jodami and Bradbury Star. Viridian and Real Class. Real Class just not perfect at that well. Number 13, another plain one. Run for free, Jodami and Bradbury Star. Real Class and Viridian. The fourth open ditch. An ultimate ditch, this. Run for free, Jodami, Bradbury Star. Then Real Class and Viridian. The last right over the far side, five from home. Run for free, Jodami and Bradbury Star. Oh, run for free, a very bad mistake there. Very few would have recovered there. Peter Scudimore picked him off the ground. Jodami's the leader now. As they race round this turn, from run for free, Bradbury Star, very close in third now, as they come to the next, four from home. Joe Darmy from run for free and Bradbury Star. Joe Darmy, the leader, with Bradbury Star, still close in behind as run for free goes back on the inside. It's run for free now, the leader once again with free to jump from Joe Darmy. Coming down to the third last in the Mum Mild May Novices Chase. Run for free from Joe Darmy and Bradbury Star making ground towards the stand side all the time. Run for free, the leader. Coming down to the final ditch now. Run for free on the far side. Bradbury Star on the near side. Joe Darmy between horses. This is the final ditch. Two from home. Bradbury Star on the near side. Joe Darmy in the center. Run for free, going off a true line over on the far side. Bradbury Star really motoring now, and Eamon Murphy sitting very confidently on him as he steadies him to come to the last, feeling as though he has it won once he's jumped it. Bradbury Star on the near side. Bradbury Star lands in the lead from Jodami, racing into the closing stages. Bradbury Star on the near side. Jodami's fighting back. Bradbury Star, though, is quickening as they come to the line. Bradbury Star just won it. Bradbury Star is the winner. Jodami is second. Jodami gave him a race all right. And third was run for free. Four and five, real class and Viridian. And so the result of the Mum Mile May Chase is first number one, Bradbury Star, owned by Mr. James Campbell, trained by Josh Gifford, and confidently written by Eamon Murphy, deputising for his brother Declan. Second was number two, Joe Darmy, owned by Mr. J. N. Yeaton, trained by Peter Beaumont, and written by his son-in-law, Patrick Fowle. And third was number three, Run for Free, owned by Mrs. Millicent Darfreethy, trained by Martin Pipe and written by Peter Scudamore. Fourth, number six, Real Class. Number one, Bradbury Stars, six to four favourite. <laughs> Second, number two, Jodami, 11 to two. Third, number three, Run for Free, nine to four. There were seven runners.